It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Tell you what we got here. We got cornfields all down off this hill here. Over this bluff here, there's more cornfields. <clears throat> so what we got here, we got a staging area. The deer come in here of an evening, wait around, wait for dark. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up here and we'll do a little rattling, see if we can bring something into us here. The first week of November is a magical time to hunt whitetails. This little pinch point in between a great food source and a good bedding area is an atypical big buck zone. Well, it's been 30 minutes. I think I'll just go ahead and try rattling, see if I can't bring something up to us. Now Dick is sitting in this stand for a reason. He spends all summer long checking his trail cameras and hanging stands accordingly. I can promise you one thing, he's not sitting in this stand by accident. Got a complete pass through on him. Can't ask for anything better than that. Old Muzzy done it again. It's hard to beat them. Like they say, they're bad to the bone. All right. Well, if I can get them on, he should be right over this hill. Got some good sign here, but I don't really need to follow it. I've seen him go down. I know about where he's at. Should be laying right up here. There's his belly. I knew he didn't go far. I watched him go down. Look at this bad boy. Golly, listen, I believe that's a little older deer than what I thought he was. I think he's four, four and a half years old. I wasn't sure when he was coming to me, but I believe he, he's a little older than what I thought. He's been rubbing on the cedars. You can plainly see that. He likes these cedars, or he did like the cedars <laughs> around here. 
I tell you, it's November the 7th. Usually my lucky day is November the 4th, but I think I'll put number seven as my lucky day too.